I asked you to write in your branded questions, and today I'm answering all of them in this very spectacular branded Q&A. Which variant is the best, how to actually use Quem, and how do you beat Tenpai when they're playing Quaki Mirror Drago? All of that and much more in this special branded Q&A. XFL6XYT asks, why don't we use Chaos Angel? I'm assuming we as branded players in general. Well, brother, we're locked into fusion summoning. <laughs> to be honest, you can synchro summon and we have seen branded synchro decks in the past with cards like Dispatter, Chaos Angel as well, Lulu Lilith. Those are synchros that have been played in branded. And right now you can also run this with some new dragon cards like Striker Dragon and Seals. But to be honest, this is more of a branded synchro variant, which does exist, but I believe is a little bit less consistent and a little bit off topic from what branded really tries to achieve. The main problem that I find with this is that once you open branded fusion and you do play branded fusion in those decks you are more likely to want to activate it over anything else then your synchros are just left in the extra deck call me buddha asks do you think branded is in danger of getting hit more on the ban list for the tcg well gonna be honest i think that i was expecting the ban list to go in a different direction obviously we got grass back but also we got branded fusion limited to one if they see that the deck is still seeing play they might want to phase it out by going on and limiting branded opening and maybe even Alubur. And branded opening is going to be much harder for the deck than branded fusion because branded opening is your extender and enabler for two card combos or even three card combos. Where branded fusion is the end goal, which is relatively still easy to achieve. So it kind of depends on what they want to do. They might keep Sanctifier in the locks just because it's a gimmick that the deck can run. But to be honest, I don't think branded is out of the water yet. Hopefully they're relaxed though to sell the future Alba's collection, maybe. Jojo Mations 2596 asks, what does milling accomplish in Branded? So there are a lot of cards in Branded SPL that send cards to the graveyard. For example, Albion the Shrouded Dragon, Serenir, High Spirits, Quem, we do play Foolish Burial, and of course, Grass. Branded has a lot of synergy in the graveyard, and obviously there are a lot of cards that benefit from it. For example, Tragedy can banish itself from the graveyard to set any Branded spell trap. Of course, you have Branded Retribution, which can recur any Branded Spell and Trap that you've used in the graveyard back to your hand. Branded Opening can protect your monsters from being destroyed. Albion the Shrouded Dragon can send Albus to the graveyard to make sure you can special summon your Cartesia and not normal summon it. There's a lot of graveyard interaction with this deck. So, milling basically guarantees you a lot of tools that are not in your hand. It's essentially gaining another hand that you can play through without wasting the cards that you have in your hand. Victor Bautista asks, could you talk about Brandon Camera if the deck is still alive or should I move away from the deck? Well, I think the deck is doing better than ever with Fiendsmith card and a lot of really, really good toolboxes that the deck has recently gotten. It's doing really well, I think. So if you do like fusion summoning, but don't like to be locked into fusion summoning, honestly, Chimera is the pick for you. Hopefully, you know, Fiendsmith gets a little bit more affordable during the next few months. I'm not sure, but I think Chimera is excellent. You got really powerhouse cards like Nightmare Apprentice and the Abels of the Original Sin. And since this is a new type of deck and a new monster type, I expect it to get a lot of support in the future. So I always considered it a really good investment. Inextasy asks, how to make a decision between a classic mirror jade board or puppet lock so i think the best way to pop it lock is actually starting from the classic mirror jade board you shouldn't rely on an end board that puppet locks because if you are hit with one interruption like a bestial call by the grave droplet on sanctifier your turn ends and you lose and also you might be facing gimmick puppet player which could be very awkward so we never blind puppet lock ever first of all you establish your maximum board you got your mirror jades you got your quem your cartesia alba set up in the graveyard a mercurier in hand maybe a branded in red set and you make sure to play two grand and Yol because this is how you achieve the full board plus a puppet lock you can watch some of my gameplay videos but essentially you put up the full board and then once your opponent starts playing and gets rid of a few resources then you puppet lock them under branded lost so you also have a full board and you guarantee the win joseph smith asks what's the ranking of branded deck variants from best to worst well i'm not gonna answer this in this video because i've already ranked all the variants and the tech options in my branded tech video the top 10 best and worst tech so make sure to check it out and get the answer from there 
Rovad55 asks, more of the White Story collection seems to have gotten revealed, and it's actually out now in the OCG. Any new lore videos, perhaps? Well, not exactly a lore video. However, I am currently working on a script that's been taking me a very long time to accomplish of the history of Branded Despia. You at least get to see the thumbnail that I've worked on with Vincent, my beautiful illustrator. So a little bit of a sneak peek here that my editor will put on the screen. And I guarantee you, you're gonna want to see that. A lot of pro players are actually interviewed in that video, but be patient. It's gonna come out soon. Owen8838 asks, is Quem really necessary for the deck? Yes, Quem is one of the best, if not the best card in the deck. And it's just about learning how to take advantage of its really complex but very beneficial effect. Again, I have a lot of gameplay videos and guides on my channel, but essentially, Quem gets you to everything you need. While Quem can, of course, dump Branded Fusion or Branded Retribution to grab something from the graveyard, it can also gain access to a whole other engine. For example, summoning Quem and sending Cartesia to the grave, then fusion summoning or even activating Branded and High Spirits to release a card from the extra deck allows Quem to bring back that Cartesia and open an entire new line of play with that. Also, it allows you to make a lot of of mirror jade activations because you can fuse mirror jade and a different monster into a drago stabelia for example and then quem can revive that quem can also of course bring back an albus from the graveyard for another interruption quem is extremely extremely essential because it allows you to use the graveyard as an additional hand and summon back a lot of resources that are extremely important quem and cartesia are honestly the cards that hold this deck together Genaris6266 asks, how do you beat Tenpai if they summon the Quarky Mirror Drago? So there are essentially two ways that you can beat Quarky Mirror Drago. First, hold on to your normal summon because Quarky Mirror Drago is summoned with zero attack and zero defense. So essentially, if you can get something onto the board earlier via special summoning like shotgunning branded fusion fusion deployment branded opening and then maybe keeping a normal summon in hand to beat over it and then play on main phase two it's going to be a lot easier for you second this is why we play board breakers dark ruler no more book of eclipse forbidden droplet and talents those can deal with the drago and hopefully either negate it or flip it face down lastly also another tip if you have a bestial and your opponent controls another monster besides seal once they activate seal, you can chain the bestial and target the seals. And on resolution, the seal will not be in the graveyard to activate its effect since it's changed its trigger location and cannot summon from deck. So keep that in mind. Henry MQK asks, I'd be interested to hear your breakdown of the subtle differences between running triple tactics thrust versus cross out designator versus Nadir servant as ways to counter Ash Blossom. What are the pros and cons you prefer with the thrust package more? So again, the 10 best and worst tech options video is currently live. You can go check it out over there and see what I think about each one of them specifically, but I'll try to give a little bit of a TLDR in this video. So why is Thrust the best? Currently, it's probably because of the fact that it's extremely versatile and also a small package that doesn't require you to run bricks. Thrust also post side lets you access more board breakers. So besides letting you play through Ash going first, it can grab Dark Ruler, evenly Harpy's Feather Duster when you're going second. So it's a card that does two things or even maybe more really, really well. So you run only three triple tactics thrust with one triple tactics talent and one duplication. And it essentially covers your ass really, really well from Ash. If you're talking about cross out designator, it does only one thing and you'll be needing to run extra cards to support it. So essentially you could say I'm already running three thrust and one trap. It's the same as running three cross out and one Ash. Well, it's not because first of all, if you draw the Ash Blossom, your cross outs are dead. So you're going to have to run multiples, which you know, impacts your deck building. And secondly, Thrust can grab you Branded Fusion, Lore of Darkness, Foolish Burial, Gold Sark. It can grab you any normal spell in the deck, which are very, very numerous if you're going second. And Cross on Designator might be dead at that time. Lastly, Nadir Servant requires a little bit of extra deck dedication. Nadir Servant is still good. It's a solid way to play around Ash Blossom. It's not as good as Thrust because it won't get you to Branded Fusion specifically, but it allows you to set up a Quem, maybe a Maximus, send two cards from the deck to the graveyard, maybe set up a Branded Red, which is almost as good. So I'd probably play Nadir over Crossout, but neither over Thrust. 
And that's gonna be it for this video. Again, leave more questions down below so maybe we can make an additional part for this video. And don't forget to send this to a friend and share it because people really want to know the answers to these questions. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much everyone who commented on the thread. Again, if you want to ask me more questions, make sure to join our Discord. It's completely free. You can tag me in a question and I'll give you my best answer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.